Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've been away in Thailand and I just got back yesterday um, to Canberra. So I'm filming my first video that I've filmed in ages and it's Christina Aguilera, Your Body. You know, there's like part of it where she's got purple curly hair. Well, I bought this and it's not really the same, but I tried. I look pretty stupid. But this is the makeup. I firmly believe that in some shots she's got like a purple liner on rather than a grey, which you know she's wearing in some of the other shots but it's basically just like a twist on the pin-up look I believe um, it's really fun pink candy colors lolly colors and um, yeah I really like the song so people asked me to do this and I did promise that it was coming so just keep watching and I hope that you enjoy so starting out I applied my foundation already. I'm starting to use the Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup. So I just applied that with my buffing brush. I'm still undecided of what I think about this. But anyway, I applied that first because I'm mostly using light colours on the lid. To prime my lid I used Bare Study Paint Pot by MAC. This is my first paint pot. It's um, pretty nice as a base for a neutral eye. So I'm just applying that with my ring finger and also under the brow bone. First brush I'm using is the Sigma Eye Shading E55 and I'm mostly going to use my Naked 2 palette. I'm going to take the light shade Booty Call, which is like that, and apply it over the lid and under my brow bone. One of my favorite brushes from the Performance Eye Kit by Sigma is the Blending E36. It's like a teensy tiny blending brush that fits perfectly into your socket. So I'm going to take the colour Tease from the palette, which looks like that, and I'm going to use this to easily place it into the socket line. I'm going to apply quite a few layers to this until I get a really nice um, crease colour. I'm also going to lightly flick it out at the end with my brush. Next step is to do the eyeliner, and I believe, by looking at the video, that she's wearing purple or like a purpley tinged eyeliner and um, it does look grey almost in some but I, in some shots but the one where she's got the wig on you can't see close but I really think it's purple so I'm using this Shumura Shumura whatever um, painting liner me purple Okay, so I'm using my favourite brush from the Performance Eyes Kit, it's the Eyeliner E11 and I think I've switched to using this from a angled liner brush that I had used in all my previous videos. So I'm going to draw quite a thick line because by the time I put the lashes on, um, the line will become thinner. Now, if you look at her in the video, you can see that her natural lashes are like a pinky purple colour. So I'm going to use two different um, mascaras. These are the Barry M coloured mascaras. I've got the purple and the pink. And I'm going to use pink first because it's really bright and then the purple isn't as bright. So I'm going to put that over the pink so that you can see it more. And I've uploaded a photo of this on my Instagram and people hated it, but I actually love it with eyeliner, so it looks good. Now I'm going to put purple on over the top of the pink and on my bottom lashes, but I did just realize that I didn't put any shadow on the lower lash line, which is very silly of me. So I'm going to add that now when I should have done it before. This is the socket color from the Naked 2 palette Tease. Now I'm applying the purple mascara. And I'm applying the purple over the top of the pink. If you're wondering, I bought these mascaras on eBay and they were about seven or eight dollars each, but I bought three colours: blue, pink, and purple. So everyone, these are the lashes that I'm going to apply today. They're by House of Lashes, and these were sent to me, so to try out, and I just wanted to show them because I really like them. These are from the uh, sort of D 
Deluxe line. They've got like a regular line which also has a lot of really nice lashes. But these ones are the Deluxe line. And I'll put the name of them in the description box. But basically there's a few layers of lash and they look really nice. That's them up close. Really like them. Yes, I'm wearing bottom lashes as well. But I'm just going to go ahead and apply these. Alright, so they're the top lashes done. And on my lower lashes, I'm going to apply these red cherry bottom lashes. But I've cut them in half, if you can see that. And I'm going to apply them to the outer bottom third. I'm using a new glue that I got from madamemadeline.com. Um, I bought these red cherry lashes from madamemadeline.com. I'll put my affiliate link to Madame Madeline below. Um, this is Brush On Adhesive with Vitamins by Duo. So I'm not using the one in the tube anymore. So I'm going to place them under my bottom lashes and hold them there. So now the lashes are applied, the eye makeup is done, right? I'm going to do my eyebrows and because she's blonde and because I've got a lighter wig on, I'm going to do lighter eyebrows. It's kind of hard because my brows are pretty much like brown hair, but I'm going to use my Sigma Beauty Expert The Brow Kit. really like this kit for especially doing tutorials where I need to be flexible with what I can do with my brows. So I'm going to use the colour Chloe. Chloe, and these two to do the inner part of the brow and the outer part of the brow. Really like the little brush that you get in the kit because it's got a spoolie on the end. Okay, so I'm just going to do these like I would normally do my brows. I've got a tutorial on this, which I will be updating because I think I'm going to do it with this kit now. Now, I'm going to conceal under my eyes using my makeup store color wheel. For this I like to use my Sigma Precision Angle P84 brush. I'm going to take some of the pink color and then a little bit of the neutral color and then buff that under there. Now I'm going to take my Benefit Hoola Bronzer and my Sigma Angle Blush brush and just swipe that on the underside of my cheekbones. I don't believe she's wearing too much blush. I'm going to use MAC Dainty Blush on my Duo Fiber Powder Blush Brush from Sigma. And then for my lips, I'm going to use my number 18 YSL Lip Stain, which is new, and my number 7 Lip Pencil. So this lip stain is number 18, it's not the apricot shade I had before, it's like a cool pink. And then over the top I'm going to use a gloss, this is the Napoleon Purtis Sydney, which I think I'm going to buy more today if I can find it. That's a creamy baby pink gloss. Oh, I look really bad. Christina can pull it off, I can't really. This is the finished look, everyone. I don't know what you're going to think of this. Sometimes I do things and I get bad feedback, so. I really like the eye makeup. I think it's a nice twist on the pin-up look, which Christina is very famous for. Um, I love how there's a peak of the pink lashes shining through and then the purple liner as you look down. Really beautiful flirty lashes. The sun just went, so the colour changed. And this purple wig is just r ridiculous. I don't know what I did that for. That's the picture I was copying. And the wig isn't quite the same as her hair. <laughs> but whatever, I just wanted to have fun. Girls just want to have fun. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. I'll put all the links below to my Sigma, the eyelashes, and I'll also list all the products that I used. And um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I'm really glad to be back. I missed you guys so much. So thanks for watching.